we're going to take you on the road to change and we're going to provide some framework around understanding change management. A structured process is really necessary for driving effective organizational change. The need to know how to plan, coordinate, and carry out change is crucial for businesses to ensure the successful outcomes. And certainly in today's modern post-COVID world, this is necessary. As Chelsea mentioned, change management, there are numerous models out there, and we're happy to throw those in the chat so that you can kind of look those up on your own. But we followed Cotter's model today, and regardless of the model, they really all follow three key phases. Each step is really as equally as important as the next. So initially, it's the preparation. It's how you get people ready for change. So in this phase, this is where we develop that sense of urgency that Chelsea spoke to, really highlighting why the need is necessary and now. It builds that effective coalition, your change team, if you will, who are going to really lead and shape how things are implemented throughout the entire process. And then it's that casting a vision, explaining and showing how we're going to get from here to there and something that people can easily grasp and remember. Then we're moving into that implementation and management phase, which is also crucially important. It's what you do with your vision after you create it that will help determine your success. So a strong communication plan is necessary in order to drive that understanding and to get that employee emotional buy-in. To gain momentum around that vision, the barriers have to be removed so that people can see that it's easier to get there. And then, as Chelsea mentioned, it's celebrating those short-term wins and milestones to kind of reinforce for everyone, this is why we're doing this, this is why it's worth all the time and, and tears to get there. And then finally, it's looking at reinforcement. So this is the sustaining piece of the implementation of the change. And it's important to stay diligent here. You can't get to the finish line and just give up and expect things to carry on. Ensure that change is reaching all levels through that constant feedback loop. And to have a lasting impact on change, you've really got to ensure that it's embedded into the culture and into the practices within your organization.